I didn't think I was like gonna be nervous, yeah. but now that it's here, I am a little bit nervous. Feeling very real. Kayla and Joshua, oh, they're so dynamic, so much range, and I have them singing this powerful, energetic Olivia Rodrigo song called Good For You. I love this song, it's on my playlist. Good, so we picked the right one. I think you don't know this song unless you live under a rock. I right know, now. it's just quite popular. <laughs> this song has so much rage, it would almost be interesting if like on stage and stuff, you guys are like, Singing it to each other. Oh, yeah. Yes. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Be mad at each other. Be mad at each other. <laughs> I paired Carson and Clint against each other because I feel like both of these guys have one foot in country. I gave these guys Don't Let Our Love Start Slipping Away by Vince Gill. I love this song for these two because it's kind of right down the middle as far as the performance goes. So cool, y'all doing this song too. Vince man. Gill, yeah. I love this song. Yeah. I was playing a bar down lower Broadway, Nashville, Tennessee. One night, Vince walked in with Amy Grant, stayed on stage for an hour and 22 minutes. I timed it. <laughs> but it gave me like the confidence to keep on, you know, yeah, Vince yeah. Gill saying with me. You know, it's all right, getting somewhere. I think this battle is going to come down to whoever can put their stamp on this song. I'm not looking for a Vince Gill impersonation. Whichever one I believe the most is being authentic to themselves, that's who's going to win. Jiminy and Aaron are, <laughs> it's like silly. I can already hear everybody making fun of me, the other coaches, but putting two four-chair turns together. I gave them work in by Tate McRae and Khalid. I think this was the song that kind of made me curious to see where you would take it, like what you would do with it. I, I love this song, and I thought, it, I thought it was just a really cool vibe, and I love that it was already a duet. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I just totally caught myself like seeing with y'all adding parts. I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I was like your background singer. Butter. It was so yeah. good. <laughs> hey. Truly a battle, yeah. and you making her sound great. She's doing the same for yeah. you. It's like you guys both sound killer together. This is going to be really fun to watch. Jim and Sasha Allen and Sophia are singing Sign, Seal, Delivered by Stevie Wonder. I love, I love this song. This is an incredibly ambitious choice, I'm well aware. But I just felt like the combination of both of their voices and both of their talents, I, I think it's going to mesh together in such a beautiful, unexpected way. We love that you pair us together. Yeah. <laughs> because yes. we work really well together. OK, good. I was hoping, because I love everyone's voices so much. I know you're auditions were so different, yeah. but I felt similarity in your tones and soulfulness and bulkiness on both sides. And I kind of wanted to see how you would handle something a little more upbeat together. Thank you. Vocal rest, good night. Yes. No, I'm kidding. You're a genius, you wanna what? know why? What? This is unexpected and my favorite combination you put together. Ah, me too! Awesome. <gasps> Sabrina and Jack. Now, what I thought would be a cool combination of their sensibilities was a Taylor Swift song, this kind of folky and singer songwriter called Cardigan. And I thought it would be a good meeting in the middle of their styles. They could be intimate, they could be great storytellers, and connect. The key is going to be embracing the emotion of the song, thinking about the lyric even more, and like getting in it, living in it. And so if you approach the song with that level of confidence, and embracing of the emotion of the song. If you give us all of that, it's gonna be so beautiful and so effective, and uh, I can't wait to hear it. So I ended up giving Holly and Wyatt um, a song by Bobby Hebb, and it's called Sunny. It's a classic, everybody knows it, but I like the Billie Eilish version. Um, I think it caters to Holly, as well as also catering to Wyatt. Here y'all, you're probably wondering why I paired you. Yeah. Um, well, I, I honestly picked a song that I thought was contemporary, but could kind of go crooner, for you, and then I had to find someone to pair you with, and then I thought, you're so great at that soulful kind of vibe that could be very delicate, but very raw, so I thought it would be a good match. I hope I'm not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so Haley, Mia, and Raquel, I have paired together to cover Car Wash, the original by Rose Royce, later covered and adapted by Missy Elliott and Christine Aguilera. How do you feel about song selection? Love it, it's so cool. Yeah. I'm so like happily surprised. We were talking about the Rose Royce original that we wanted to take as far as like arrangement, but also bring some of the vocal prowess. Yeah, and showing as much as we can yeah. of, your, of both of yeah. your gifts as possible from the Christina version. This is, when I like it, I throw my shoe. This was, <laughs> So incredible. I thought she threw a shoe at me. I'll put it back on every time again. She threw a shoe at me. I'm Kristen Chenoweth's personal shoe putter on. <laughs>
I love hearing Shadell and Janora. They're singing Ariana Grande's song, One Last Time, and it's really cool hearing them do this song. I love this song because we listen to it at our house quite a lot. This song was a special request from my daughter, Luna. She is in love with the song, and she loves Ariana, of course, particularly this song, though, so I know it very well, and I'm very excited to hear you two sing. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this song. <laughs> I think Ari's going to love it, and the yep. audience is going to love it, too. Okay. Yep, as long as you keep having fun with each other, the smiles, the woo, give a little wink to Ariana, you know, <laughs> all that stuff. We'd love to see it. Yes. Manny and Wendy are going to be singing If I Ever Lose My Faith in You by Sting. I chose this song for Manny and Wendy because I feel like vocally it's going to give them a chance to show off their strengths. Just find a way to like take this song and internalize it. You can't just go from your ear to your mouth. It has to go from your ear, go through your heart that's probably been broken once or twice, and then come out your mouth. Swing for the fence and, and hopefully nobody's going home here, right? Yes. Look out for number one, don't step in number two. Casey, K3, and Riley are going to be singing Come On Over by Christina Aguilera. I picked this song again because these are the songs I grew up loving and I want to hear. I am so happy about this song. Yeah, I, I wanted to give you something with a little bit more energy this time. And I also knew in my heart and soul that y'all would nail this as well. I buy it. Oh my god, what are we gonna do here? I don't know. What's happening? You mean what are you gonna do? What am I uh, I'm just I, a guest. Cause I quit. I can't do it. So I paired the Cunningham sisters with Parker because I felt like, honestly, it, I could give them both the same song. Now it is a little interesting to pick a song that is appropriate for a 20-something year old and then a 14 and 15 year old. <laughs> I feel like you all could do soulful pop really well. Mm -hmm. So then I thought if we did this twist, on It's My Party made like this like Lana Del Rey, like yes. Amy Winehouse, Radiohead kind of vibe on it. Yeah. I think it's a little unexpected, which is kind of a cool factor, especially yeah. if you have a different yeah. version that's really cool. That's what I'm hoping happens here, Jason. Um. <laughs> I paired Barrett versus Caitlin because uh, even though they're different, they both still have at least one foot in pop music. You guys are gonna be doing Yellow by Coldplay. Yeah. Uh, I love this song. Who knows, that may be not what Yellow is about. I like to think it's about corn. Corn? <laughs> Myself. I don't know what y'all are thinking about. Uh, oh, I was thinking it was like a love song. Yeah, it's, like it's a love, love song. song. Corn. You know, uh, Blake has love songs about corn. corn. I love Jonathan and Paris, and I love their voices. They have these lovely, soulful, tenor, bright voices. I'm so excited to hear them sing Luther's song. We're going to do Here and Now by Luther Vandross. I used to sing this at weddings back in the day. My dad had this playing on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> sing it at a couple weddings. You sing it at a couple nice. weddings yourself. There you go. You're gonna compel these folks so much. We're gonna give them the best performance of the battles. And no matter what, both of you guys are gonna go to the next round. Yes, That's yep. your goal, okay? This is tricky. Tricky. That is a steal! Yay! That's really difficult. You want my advice? Quit. Ha <laughs>